Meanwhile, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer is calling on top Customs and Border Protection officials to be fired over the convention centers and de detention centers, I should say, and how they're being handled. The Customs and Border Protection Deputy Commissioner Robert Perez with us right now. Commissioner, very good to have you. Thanks for having me, Neil. Uh, what do you think of that? Fire them all, I guess yourself included. <laughs> Well, Neil, look, it is an absolute privilege uh, uh, and a humbling one to do what I do every day. Uh, 26 years later, since day one, it is a privilege to do what I do. And I do it with uh, the utmost integrity, uh, the utmost vigilance as I, I can. And, and frankly, the most distinct honor I have is the ability to represent the 60,000 men and women of this agency, our Border Patrol agents, our CBP officers, our plainclothes em employees alike, who every day uh, not only exemplify the professionalism that we expect of ourselves, but go above and beyond the call of duty, particularly as they have been during this border crisis. So, obviously, you're not looking to resign. Um, has anyone talked to you and said, all right, this doesn't look good? And uh, what's happening at, the, at a couple of these facilities, while well, hardly typical, uh, is hardly something to ignore, you say? Well, uh, what I will share with you is the same we've been sharing for the last 18 months plus, Neil. We've been sounding these alarm bells. We've been the ones who've been inviting the congressional delegations and their staffers down to our border facilities. We've been the ones up on Capitol Hill through uh, congressional testimony. We've been the ones out here with yourself and your colleagues talking about the border crisis. It, look, unquestionably, one of the alarms we've been continually sounding is the oversaturation of our facilities by virtue of a broken immigration system and facilities that were never designed to house this volume of people, particularly vulnerable populations like families and children. Did you get a chance to explain that or your people explain that to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, uh, who said that it, it, it's inexcusable, yet she did not vote? Uh, on this $4.6 billion measure that would have addressed or stands to address some of these issues? I, I'm very confident, Neil, because, again, we've been doing this now. Our uh, agents on the front line, uh, our chiefs, our employees on the front line have been seeing, again, almost weekly or, or, or several times a month at the very least, these groups of folks, again, at our, uh, much, uh, you know, at our request at times and certainly welcoming them, uh, explaining to them the nature of the problem. And what, Look, do, they, and what do they tell you? What, what I hope they take away and what we expect them to take away is a much more informed perspective of what it is that's going on, the well, actual factors that, that contribute. Alexander it did not get that. And, and in fact, she said that, that your guys, uh, under what should be a best behavior type situation, were anything but. Now, it's her word against it, your guys and all, but there were these eight Facebook postings that have since been taken down and hardly indicative of your 50,000 plus men and women. That, that showed disparaging comments made of people at these facilities. Do you think uh, they're, they're looking into this? If it's, it's, if it's proven some of them said what they said, did what they did, that they should be fired? Oh, absolutely, we're looking into, into it very urgently and diligently, like we would any and every allegation of misconduct, Neil. So, so very quickly, let me just say again, with emphasis, any allegation of misconduct, misconduct by any of our employees is it thoroughly investigated both by our department's Office of Inspector General Understood. and so our you own didn't Office know, of Professional you, Responsibility. Uh, I'm sorry, you did not know of the, 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 these Facebook postings yourself? Once, no. Once we were alerted to those, the agency and the department sprung immediately into action to investigate the, these, the veracity of what was going on there. And people will be held to account if and when we find that folks were acting inappropriately and not within our standards of conduct. Got I it. have to mention, Neil, really quick, sure. again, the way, what we're doing at our facilities, despite the oversaturation, despite the alarm bells that we ourselves have been ringing for the better part of 18 months, we are making sure that everybody's provided fresh water, everybody's provided food. This is systemic provided around the clock to all the people that are in our custody despite the conditions and we took it upon ourselves to deploy more medical professionals ever before into these facilities stand up soft-sided facilities alongside some of our hard-sided ones that are, were never built for this and 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 these are the sort of things that we took upon ourselves to make sure that despite the crisis we have upon us that we were doing everything over and above to take care of those in our custody well the commissioner obviously the president agrees that you we touched on 
on this a little bit earlier, but he had tweeted out not too long ago, our Border Patrol people are not hospital workers, doctors are nurses, the Democrats have bad immigration laws which could easily be fixed. They're the problem. He goes on to say, if you really want to fix the crisis at the border, both humanitarian and otherwise, tell migrants not to come into our country unless they're willing to do so legally. Now, right now we have this deal with Mexico where they would hold migrants in Mexico before they even get to our border. Do you think that will ease kind of the, the, the crowding conditions and the jams that you're encountering now? Um, uh, absolutely, Neil. So we're encouraged. We still need Mexico to continue to do more. But the unprecedented agreement that we came to with Mexico is beginning to have at least a modest effect in the first few weeks. But make no mistake about it. The long-term fixes here, as, as the president just stated, you know, just a little while ago, is our fixing of our own legal framework. Again, we've been talking about this for the better part of 18 months. And the fact of the matter is, is that we need to fix our own immigration laws, uh, not allow alien smuggling organizations to continue to exploit these legal loopholes on the backs of some of the most vulnerable populations in the world, particularly children. We have children who are being used as virtual virtual passports, and in times now recycled through a broken immigration system just to facilitate the movement of these All migrants. Right. This is the stuff that we absolutely need to fi fix now. And you hope this measure and others will, will, will alleviate that. But, Commissioner, thank you for taking the time. Thanks for having me, Neil.